What we're going to do is we're going to do an inlaid herringbone tabletop, which is so fantastic, it right? It's so beautiful. Wait till you see the after, but you have to wait because you're going to show the steps. Right. This is beyond brilliant. So the first thing we want to do is this. We have a, a tabletop desk right over here, or a, a table, I should say, which is quite lovely. You yep. know, it's just a simple table. Yeah. Right? It looks good, but you're going to change that into something extraordinary. Absolutely. So get a piece of plywood, cut. To the size you want. A quarter inch, no, a quarter inch bigger than the tabletop. Okay. Okay, so that, we have that. Then we need to find the exact center. Then from the center, we're going to get our protractor. <gasps> Do I you remember those when we were in school? I haven't I used just, this. I just no. got like chills down my spine because I, know, I remember a... not being able to use them in my final exam. Oh, no, no. I got a little bit of a, a stomach ache here. A protractor. I just, yeah, I got a little bit nauseous. I know. I threw up just a little bit in my mouth, just a little bit. Because we want to find our 45 degree angle. Oh, on I don't both even know sides. what that looks like. I know, right? I failed 45 degree <laughs> angles like big time. After we've done that, we can throw away a protractor and never use here, it. Here, let again. me go. Let me slow. Let me slow. Get out of here. Get again. Say goodbye to the protractor. From there, now we went to our big box store, guys and we got these little two-inch poplar strips, which are fantastic. As you can see, they're quite thin here. They're only a quarter-inch thick. Um, and we cut them all down over here to six-inch strips. So they all have to be the same size. Exactly the same size. Yep. Actually, you could even go to a big box store and see if they'll cut them for you, right? Yeah. So here's where the magic starts. And once you make this, we're going to come over and we're going to grade it for you, okay? Right? You're going to get a star or no star. <laughs> Here's where this starts. So we're gonna take it here. Now, it's very, very important. The first two that you lay in okay. have to be exact. Otherwise, wow. the rest of it will be messed up. And remember, up. these are easy and inexpensive. I have to the word easy. These have to be exact. exact. Just the first two. Just the, okay, after right? that, you're free? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have a nail gun here. You could use a, a regular... Uh, Point it down. There you go. It's not going to fire. Point it down. <laughs> OK. Uh, you could use just a regular hammer and nails. Um, yeah. But you know what? You can always go to big box stores, and they rent these. Kevin is waiting to Point it down. OK. <laughs> So, so you can actually rent them, any any Home Depot kind of thing? Absolutely, any, uh, big box stores, yeah. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna, that's what big box store means, right? We're going to yep. lay in our Got second it. one, okay. okay? And we're going to nail it down. Christopher, yep. clear. Clear. Right? Clear. So you can see where we're going. So herringbone. Do the next one, because I want to know if it was perfect. It okay. was perfect. Look was at that. It? Steven doesn't do anything unless it's perfect. I'll rip the whole thing apart, redo it. <laughs> right? But as you can see here, so what herringbone is, as you can see, it's then this one goes in, this one goes in. Do you see where so he's going with this? Isn't this exactly right? It's going to look right? great. Okay. Let's flip her over. Keep going. There's, there's more steps. Yeah. There's more steps. You could do this to your hardwood floor, but I probably wouldn't. <laughs> It'd take you like three years. So we're going to do the whole center all the way up, guys. Oh, do you really? Yeah. Do oh, the whole thing. Okay. We're going to lay in. That way our pattern's already laid in. Okay. Then we're going to start laying in our other pieces as we've done here. Okay. Okay. We have to hurry because we're almost out of time. And, and we got to show this. And then, guys, here we go. So then we're going to start laying in these pieces. Okay. And what's going to happen... Is he's going to keep doing that it? That wasn't perfect. Okay. Uh, see, it didn't fit. It wasn't perfect. Because I hurried. Start from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so then from there, what you want to do is you can have all these overhanging pieces. Yeah. Right? So just literally have cut those all off so yep. your edge is nice and smooth. All right. And then we're going to get the side piece. Yeah. And again, we're going to use the same Heather, wood. You get a shot of that and there, And put Heather? this on. And then do it so all that is completely level. See, it's going to be uh, like a quarter inch up. Yeah. And that's going to wrap around the bottom, right? Absolutely. So, so then it looks that. nice and thick around the sides. You stain it all. Okay, so right? let's go over here and look at it, guys. What do you think? It. it looks like that. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful? So you can stain it with different wood tones as we've done here. So it looks like reclaimed wood, which is kind of lovely. And then give a wax finish. It's got a really nice wax finish. So what does the wax finish do? That it, sort of just gives it sort it, of an authenticity or it like it's it, like a floor. Yeah, it makes it look like reclaimed wood. Absolutely. You know what I mean? It kind of gives it that, that lush finish.